I'm filming. Right, right now? Yeah. Hello. Mm -hmm. Hello, YouTube. Hey guys, so for today's video, I am filming kind of a roundup Ipsy unboxing. So I have both my glam bags and my glam bag pluses. <laughs> Uh, from June and July. So I just didn't get around to filming these earlier. I've already filmed uh, my August Ipsy video, which was Glam Bag X Halsey and uh, I think just a normal glam bag. Uh, so I'll link that for you if you are curious what I received in my August bags. Uh, but I did want to play around with some of these products and just show you what I got. And to make it a little bit more interesting and relevant to you maybe, I'm also going to haul uh, some items I ordered from Viziart earlier this year. So they were having a really great spring sale, I think it was. It was like 40% off or something. Uh, so I'll show you what I got from Viziart. And uh, I do happen to have a little giveaway. So uh, make sure to uh, stay tuned to the end if you are interested in winning a Viseart palette. So like I said, I have my Glam Bag and Glam Bag Plus from the month of June. Uh, so the normal Glam Bag uh, used to retail for $12. I believe it will be going up to $13 on October 1st. Uh, so Ipsy has notified its subscribers um, that the price will be increasing slightly, so uh, just be aware of that if you are thinking of subscribing. So the normal glam bag, I think you get five deluxe samples basically. Sometimes you get some full size items if they're uh, less expensive usually, uh, or if they're just brushes or something, where it doesn't make sense to have a deluxe sample. And you can choose one item. Uh, but anyway, this is the bag, and to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of this. I mean, it's cute. There's like this three-dimensional little set of lips here, uh, and the pull tab is just a little circle that says Ipsy. Uh, so it's not really my favorite. To me, it's kind of juvenile, but anyway. Uh, so I guess the theme was Do You? Uh, bold Moves Only. And for the glam bag, they include the actual items that you received. Uh, so I think the item I selected was the Tarte Lash Paint Mascara. Uh, so on my list of videos to make is a video kind of comparing all the different Tarte mascaras. So uh, I went ahead and selected that. So the description for that, it says, get thick, falsy-like lashes in one swipe and out of this world drama in two swipes. The magic is in the patented silicone wand it has multi-length bristles that coat each lash from root to tip for precise application. And the full size of that product is $23, but that is a deluxe sample. Uh, the next product is the First Aid Beauty uh, Arnica Relief and Rescue Mask. Uh, this is 0.34 ounces, and the full size is $32. The full size is 96 dollars Four grams. This is 9.6 grams, so this is about, I guess, a tenth of the size. Uh, it says, sometimes, like us, our skin just needs to chill. Inspired by traditional pharmacy treatments, this nurturing mask is infused with a cocktail of potent herbal ingredients, like anti-inflammatory arnica, centella asiatica, and calendula flower, to soothe stressed out skin in just 15 minutes. So, uh, I have actually sampled this product before and I didn't care for the scent. It was very potent, so I probably won't be reaching for it, but uh, I do like First Aid Beauty as a brand generally, so I do appreciate it being in the box. Uh, next up, we have the Fury Nourishing Body Scrub. Again, this is a deluxe sample. This is 1.5 fluid ounce. Uh, so it says Dull Skin Who? This gel-based scrub uses ultra-fine pumice particles to remove dead skin cells and rough patches so your bod looks and feels silky smooth. P.S. It's infused with shea butter and coconut oil to deeply moisturize too. And the full size, which is 500 ml, is $17. So again, this is roughly, I think, a tenth the size. Okay, so it looks like it was manufactured on July 1st, 2021. That doesn't really make sense. So I'm just going to sample this because I'm a little curious kind of how abrasive it is. 
So, okay, so they weren't kidding when they said it was gel-like. It's a very loose consistency. It almost looks like, uh, do you all remember there was a soda that was like clear that had like yellow, like orbs kind of suspended in it? That's kind of what it reminds me of, or like the, I think, Skin Ink products. So that's really interesting as far as a scrub goes. I don't think I've experienced many scrubs quite like that. I was just curious how abrasive it would be. It has, it kind of smells like bug spray, to be honest. Uh, it has sodium laureth sulfate, pumice, glycerin, coconut oil. It does have perfume. So I'm not sure exactly what scent they were going for. I don't know, it's just giving me like scent memories of like summer camp, so it's interesting. Uh, I wouldn't say it's my like preferred scent for a scrub. Uh, next up we have a Catherine Malandrino Luxe de Venise. Uh, this is a deluxe sample and it says, a few spritzes of this fruity floral fragrance will have you dreaming of a romantic Italian vacay. Inspired by the charming city of Venice, the notes of grapefruit and apricot mixed with jasmine and rose exude mystery, femininity, and strength. Okay, so this came in a box like so, and this is 10 mil, the full size. Again, it's like 10 times the size, uh, and that is $110. So this is a pretty decent sized spray. For a perfume sample and I'm just curious I don't love it I mean it's kind of like a very fresh clean type citrus floral or fruity floral I was wondering if it was at all similar to the Chloe rose tangerine which I've been wearing uh, this summer and I've been enjoying that but yeah I, I don't really think it's very similar at all uh, the next product is this Lower East Side Beauty Punk Rock Eyeshadow Quad. This is full size and this has a retail value of $19. Uh, so it came in this little bubble, little package. Uh, so it says, inspired by NYC's Lower East Side, where unique makeup looks are always welcome, this collection of four highly pigmented eyeshadows has everything you need to create a fully dimensional eye look. Consider it your go-to for long days, late nights, and every moment in between. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly um, swatch this. I kind of had written this off in a way when I first got it because the packaging doesn't look like anything special. It's just, you know, kind of cheap plastic sort of thing. And where is this made? made in China. Uh, so yeah, I was not very enthused by it, but then um, I did get the liner, eyeliner from this brand, I think in my August glam bag. And I'm by no means a liquid liner aficionado, but I was pleasantly surprised by it. So uh, I'm just going to give these a swatch. So there's no mirror or anything on the inside. Like I said, it feels very cheap. Uh, and those are the shades. So I don't think they're anything like super remarkable to be honest. And having them all be shimmers, I just, probably won't get a lot of use out of it. So I might end up donating that because um, I've just watched it. So uh, yeah, as you can probably tell, I wasn't super impressed by my, my June glam bag. Uh, I did also as an add-on pick up the Patrick Ta shaping wax in the shape clear. Uh, so this came with the shaping wax, which I used today, uh, and this little brush. Uh, and I kind of brushed them up, like I gave them a really feathery look, and I feel like they've already kind of fallen a bit. 
And uh, with my brows, usually what I look for is hold. It's not so much like filling them in, grooming your brows or whatever, but to be honest, like because you have to have the actual like compact with the uh, wax in it, then you have to spray it with something and then you have to use a brush, like a separate brush to actually apply it. It's just a little bit much for me. Like I would just rather go for a clear brow gel like the one from Anastasia is great. Uh, the Kosas one I've used before. So uh, that would be my preference. But uh, anyway, it was on sale. So I decided to try it out. So moving on to the Glam Bag Plus, uh, as usual, it has a very similar theme, but it comes in this little drawstring bag. Uh, so this retails currently for $25 a month, and I think you get all full-size products. Uh, as of October 1st, it will be going up to $28, uh, so three additional dollars. Yeah, and I think you get five full-size products, and you can choose... Can you choose three of them? I took notes, and I'm already confused. <laughs> yeah, I guess you can choose three of the five. So at least you have a little bit more control in terms of what you will be getting. Okay, so the first thing I got is this Aceology Lifting Treatment Mask. Uh, this has a $69 value. Uh, and it says the closest thing to a pro facial at home, this peptide packed mask creates an instant lifting and firming effect that you'll love. It even uses purifying botanicals to help remove dead skin cells and give your pores a deep cleaning too. So it says, uh, to use it, you squeeze a small amount of product onto your fingers or a brush and apply an even layer to your face, avoiding the eye area. Sit back and relax for 30 minutes and then gently remove the mask in one single piece. So I'm guessing it's one that you kind of peel off. Vegan, cruelty-free. I've never tried a mask like this, I don't think. I mean, it has like alcohol as the third ingredient. Bentonite, uh, clay. It has synthetic uh, florflogopite. Isn't that like a mineral? I don't know if it's supposed to be shiny. Uh, Castor oil, glycerin. Uh, triglycerides yeah so I don't know I'm not I'm not super excited by this maybe I'll go to try if I'm bored I don't know I've, I've gotten the like overnight lip mask from this brand in my like boxycharm recently and I don't know I don't really know much about it but I'm a little wary I guess I'll say so next up I have the Kvos NYC blushing beauty luminous blush palette this has a 36 dollar value and again this is full size uh, it says summer glow up here you come this ultra blendable powder trio in luminous rose peach and coral shades contains antioxidant rich go-to cola to help to moisturize and brighten your skin with every swipe Use a brush to sweep blush onto the apples of your cheeks for a youthful glow or out towards temples for a more lifted look. So it's vegan, cruelty free, all natural, and it's free of uh, GMOs, toxins, fillers, and synthetic chemicals. So I used this today. I used the uh, middle shade here. Uh, so the shades are Cora, Rosie, and Peaches. So this has a very kind of NARS orgasm vibe to it. Um, the shades are quite similar. Uh, I think the one on the right is more kind of satin, whereas the other two have more of a shimmer to them. Uh, so it's really pretty and uh, like I said I used it today and it's very buildable. Uh, so I went in with the refer number five brush. So the camera always kind of eats makeup, so you often have to kind of apply more to get it to give you the look you want. Uh, in person, it's like a very kind of pretty subtle flush. Uh, but if you do want like a super heavy blush look, I think you might have to kind of go in pretty hard with this. Uh, but if you are a little bit more timid when it comes to blush application, you might enjoy this kind of texture. Uh, again, this is made in China, uh, and that was also a product that Ipsy chose for me. 
Uh, moving on to the products I chose. So the first item here is the Viseart Petite Pro Do, Do, Da, Do. <laughs> uh, so this is like the second in their Petite Pro line. And I didn't already have this one in my collection, so I decided to uh, go for it. Uh, and this is what I'm wearing on my lids today. Uh, so those are the shades. You can definitely get a very kind of late summer, nice warm look with them. Uh, the thing about Busy Art Shadows, uh, and I was reminded of this today because I watched um, Samantha Ravindahl's video about the Hindash palette. And uh, I think she made a really good point. And you know, this sentiment I'm about to articulate has kind of been circulating for a while, but I think she kind of phrased it very eloquently. Uh, but basically, you know, Vizier is one of those brands where it's kind of notorious for not swatching well. Uh, like it'll perform on the eyes, but it typically just doesn't um, swatch well. And she was saying how with the Hindash palette, it's not the kind of texture that tends to swatch well because it's not that like super creamy, buttery feeling. It's a little bit drier feeling. Uh, but the flip side of that is that the texture being a little drier or thinner, it's a little easier to kind of build up and apply on the eyelids, blend out and do that sort of thing. So she was saying how in the last like 10 years or so with like the rise of social media, Instagram and all that, uh, brands were kind of formulating eyeshadows intentionally to swatch well and not necessarily perform well. Uh, but Viseart is, I think, kind of like Hindash, uh, Viseart is designed with the makeup artist in mind for the most part. Uh, and I'll talk more about Viseart at the end of this video at the haul. And that's why I'm doing a Viseart haul with this video, in case you were wondering. Uh, but uh, to begin with, they really only have like purely matte palettes or purely uh, metallic or shimmer palettes because for the makeup artist, like you have to be very careful about not getting um, any mica or shimmer in a matte look if it's going to be like on film or um, photographed or whatever because that'll show up and you have to be very careful about keeping that distinction. Uh, so the original like this is the neutral mattes palette. So this one is all matte, obviously. Uh, but then as they started to come out with more um, like consumer driven palettes, like these petite pros, um, you get a mix of matte and shimmer. Uh, and this is definitely kind of more targeted towards a consumer that doesn't want to lay out a lot of money. They just want, you know, a lot of different shades, cute little eye look, um, easy to kind of throw in a makeup bag. Um, whereas like a makeup artist, they would probably go through this fairly quickly and the size just wouldn't make it very practical for them in terms of working on a lot of different clients. So, uh, anyway, uh, that is a very long winded way of saying that, um, I didn't have that palette and I picked it. <laughs> um, and this is supposed to retail for $39, which seems high. Like I mentioned, um, Viseart does have some pretty good sales and they also go on sale at Sephora. Yeah, like the Midsummer Petite Pro, for example, is $30 on Sephora. So I'm wondering if that was a typo and they meant to say 29 instead of 39. But either way, you can usually, um, buy Viseart at a discount, like uh, I think Muse Beauty does uh, a lot of Viseart sales, that sort of thing. Uh, but anyway, the description says, this compact palette packs some serious punch, complete with eight super pigmented and blendable shades in matte, satin, and shimmer finishes. It's got everything you need to channel your inner makeup artist. There you go. It's cruelty free. Uh, and it says, beloved by professional makeup artists on top film sets around the world, Viseart's high performance makeup formulas harness the best plant-based resources and innovative technology. So, uh, like I said, I'll return to Viseart at the end. Uh, the thing about Viseart, uh, like the neutral mattes is a great palette to kind of supplement other palettes because you just have a lot of really great basic um, colors in it. Uh, and this, I think, is a really pretty look that I came up with, but uh, my preference usually gears towards like having a kind of really high impact shine 
metallic foil type look on the lids. Uh, and Fizzy Art doesn't really do that type of formula well, if at all. Uh, so I did supplement this with the Aether Pure Diamond Dust. I just kind of tapped a little bit on the top. Uh, so I did want to mention that so you're not thinking that I created this look entirely from um, that palette. Okay, um, so next up we have the uh, Benton Aloe Propolis Soothing Gel. Uh, this has a $19 value. Uh, it says this lightweight and ultra refreshing gel moisturizer contains aloe and propolis to soothe redness and irritation, fade the look of dark marks and discoloration, and help your skin maintain ideal hydration levels throughout the day. It says it's a derm approved formula free from artificial fragrances and dyes. And uh, Benton's cosmetics are designed to restore your skin back to its original youthful condition with healthy ingredients rather than give temporary effects with harmful ingredients. Uh, so I selected this. I think it was just one of the better options available. And I do have dry skin that can be prone to eczema. So uh, this just sounded like it could be really nice and soothing. If my skin is really having a hard time, um, we're kind of tiptoeing into the cooler months here. It has cucumber fruit extract. So I think the ingredients look pretty good. I don't see anything that like leaps out at me as being kind of a red flag or anything. Okay, so it really just comes out as a gel. Doesn't really smell. So I'm not sure what the difference between using this and just pure aloe would be. Uh, this is made in Korea, so it looks like it's a Korean brand. So yeah, I don't know. I thought that was kind of an inoffensive product. Uh, and then last up, we have the Tenace. Uh, Sunset to Stars Lip Oil Duo in Mahina Moon and Plumeria Petals. Again, I chose this and it's supposed to have a $50 value. You get two shades like so. Uh, and I am wearing this one. I'll go ahead and reapply. It does definitely have like a shine shimmer to it. So I was kind of thinking it was going to be that kind of um, like drawing metallic lip formula, uh, but it really just feels pretty um, pretty light on the lips. So I, I think it's fine. I mean, I don't know that I would necessarily reach for it over like other lip oils in my collection, but uh, it does kind of have like some pretty colors to it. Uh, it is vegan and cruelty free. Uh, they do have coconut oil in them. So there they are swatched on my hand. So again, that's just kind of a, an okay product. Uh, so that was it for my, uh, the items I received. And then I also got a couple, uh, a few add-ons. Uh, I got these Tony Moly uh, Minions blemish patches. Uh, these are, I think just like the little hydrocolloid um, patches that you put on a blemish. Uh, but these are, I think, heart shaped. Uh, so I just thought those were kind of cute and different. So I got these, I think these were like a $3 add on. Uh, I also got a mini of the ABH Dip Brow. This is in the shade Taupe. Uh, and I do have, I think, the full size of this that I might have also gotten in a, uh, an Ipsy, now that I think of it. Uh, so I've enjoyed this. I think I used that in my full face of ABH video. Uh, so I saw this as a $3 add-on, so I figured I would go ahead and pick it up. You know, at the time, I was thinking I might travel this fall. Uh, so anyway, it's just a very cute, small little mini so not that this takes up much space in a makeup bag but anyway i got one of those and then uh lastly i got this yensa super 8 silk lipstick and this is in the shade free spirit so i think this was 12 dollars, which was a little high uh, i think these normally retail for 28 uh, so I just wanted to try these. Okay, <laughs> this is fun. 
Uh, this is one where you push and it pops out the bottom. Uh, so that's cool. So that's just like a nice kind of pretty nude color. I guess more of a pink uh, kind of shade. So uh, yeah, I just thought I would try out their, their lipsticks. I've used their, I think like, is it a BB cream or CC cream a while back and I enjoyed it. So anyway, so I thought I would try that. Uh, and that's it for June. Okay, so for July, I definitely preferred uh, the bags from this month. Uh, the normal glam bag is this kind of um, like brushed metallic gold. It says stay golden at the top. And then you get this little kind of sundial with a blue little stone in the middle. So uh, I think that's kind of pretty. And the theme like you would imagine is stay golden. So I think I chose uh, another Tarte product. Uh, this time it was the Sea Quench Primer. Uh, and I did use this today and it, it did feel really nice going on. So I enjoyed using that. Uh, that, let's see, the full size is 32 and it's 30 mils. So this is about a third the size. Uh, so I guess in the full size, you don't really get much product because that seems kind of small. Uh, but it says, whether you're going for a full beat or a natural look, this lightweight and super effective primer will make sure your hard work doesn't fade. It'll help your foundation last longer and keep your skin hydrated for up to 12 hours with hyaluronic acid and marine plant extracts. So yeah, so, so far, you know, I'm enjoying that. Uh, the next product is the Murad Essential C Day Moisture Broad Spectrum SPF 30. Uh, it says, there's one skincare step you can't skip in the morning in that sunscreen. Luckily, this lightweight moisturizer infused with broad spectrum SPF 30, brightening vitamin C and protecting ginkgo biloba leaf extract makes it easy to get your daily dose. Uh, and unfortunately, this does have avobenzone in it along with like four other chemical sunscreens. So uh, I try to avoid chemical sunscreen to the extent I can and definitely avoid avobenzone because I think it irritates my skin. Uh, so I will not be using that, unfortunately. Uh, next up, we have a Real Her lipstick in Girl Power. They say this is a deluxe sample. This is two grams and the full size is 3.5 grams. Uh, the full size is $18. Uh, it says, if your dream lipstick feels just like a balm, then this silky nourishing formula is death for you. It uses jojoba seed oil and shea butter to nix chapping and dryness on contact. Plus time released water droplets provide moisture throughout the day. The perfect recipe for all day hydration. Oh, it says it doubles as the perfect cream blush. Thanks to its moisturizing formula. Interesting. Okay, so I'm going to give this a shot. Just wipe off what's left of that lip oil. Quite curious. Okay, so it says it's a mauve. Shade's called Girl Power. Yeah, it definitely does feel like a sample packaging. It just feels kind of like cheap plastic. It does say Real Her on the bullet itself though, which is kind of cute. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, it definitely is kind of a tinted lip balm type product. It kind of reminds me of those like Burt's Bees um, ones I used to make. It looks nice. I don't think it really smells like anything. I was just trying to think whether it would be better to market this as a like moisturizing lipstick or as a tinted balm, but I guess you can go kind of either way with that. Okay, next up we have the Balance Me Pure Skin Face Wash. This is a 0.68 fluid ounce size. Uh, so it says, say hello to the perfect everyday cleanser. After you wash, your skin will feel clean and well balanced. It's all thanks to the gentle sulfate free formula, so it'll never dry you out. And it contains vitamin rich 
rice bran oil and an antimicrobial moringa to leave you glowing. Hmm. So I've never heard of this brand before. It says it's a naturally foaming creamy gel cleanser. It's made in the UK. It's vegan. For some reason, I see a product with balance in the title and I think it's going to be better suited for oily skin uh, because it just seems like a lot of the marketing is like, you know, balancing oil or whatever. Uh, but that is the texture. I mean, I don't have any water or anything on my hand, but it definitely doesn't like immediately kind of suds up. So uh, that might be okay. I think it has a scent to it, but I'm not sure exactly what it is. And it doesn't have the full list of ingredients on it, so I can't say if it has added fragrance. Um, it kind of has a light citrusy smell, I think. So if you are super bothered by that, you might not, you might not enjoy it. So last up we have the, is it Shayna B Miami B Dazzling Eye Duo in Soka and Bacchanal. Uh, it says this metallic gold and matte brown eyeshadow duo equals the only thing you need to create dazzling eye looks this summer. Okay, so it says this metallic gold and matte brown eyeshadow duo equals the only thing you need to create dazzling eye looks this summer. Both shades are high performing, highly pigmented, and last for hours without fading or creasing. And this again is a deluxe sample. The full size is $29 and uh, you only get 2.1 grams in this, and the full size is supposed to be 21 grams, which seems like a lot. Okay, so it looks like for July, um, all of the items in my glam bag were deluxe samples. Uh, so I'll just quickly swatch this. It has some really cute like flamingo embossing, and these do feel kind of very buttery, creamy. So those, definitely give you that kind of high impact. Uh, I think I might actually just kind of tap some of the gold onto my lids. So I'm just curious how that will look on top of the Zyart shades. I think that actually adds a little bit more kind of dimension to it, which is nice. Uh, so I never, heard of this brand, I don't think, but uh, their eyeshadows seem at least swatching and kind of tapping on the lid. They seem to perform well. So uh, that is it for the items I received. Uh, I also picked up two add-ons. Uh, I got a mini of the Way Scalp and Body Scrub, which I'm a huge fan of. I've gone through, I think, several of the full size. So uh, definitely snagged this in the like add-ons. Uh, and then I also got the Patrick Ta blush in She's Seductive. I think this was, I'm wondering if Patrick Ta first came to Ipsy for the February Glam Bag um, X. And like most things, like after they kind of have that initial launch or whatever, then it kind of filters into other like avenues. And so this was in the um, add-ons, uh, but that just looked like a really pretty kind of mauve blush. So yeah, I already had a couple of these. Uh, so I don't know. It wasn't, I don't think a huge savings. Like it might've been kind of comparable to like 20% off or something like that. Uh, so it wasn't anything crazy, but I went ahead and picked it up. Uh, so that was it for the Glam Bag. So for the um, Glam Bag Plus, we had a really pretty bag. It has this kind of cream color um, with the sun and the eye, and it says stay golden. It has this blue string. Uh, so again, I very much prefer July's design. And uh, they have the theme on the inserts as well, but uh, the inside is just kind of, I don't know, tips and tricks, that sort of thing. Uh, it does say on the back here that the August Glam Bag X was with Halsey, so I've already filmed the video unboxing that. So if you wanted to upgrade one of your subscriptions to a quarterly Glam Bag X, you can do that. 
Uh, I've thought about kind of switching my glam bag to be my upgrade instead of my glam bag plus, but I'm not really sure. Uh, so the first item here that I did apply today is the Il Maquillage um, Mascara. This has a value of $25. Uh, and it says this multitasking mascara has a unique brush head that lifts, lengths, and curls each and every lash for a dramatic wide-eyed look. It's 100% vegan and cruelty-free. And it says their entire line of pro-quality makeup is made with uncompromising attention and for confident women everywhere. Uh, so I I think this is the first Il Maquillage product I've tried. Uh, I thought about buying the, was it Carly Bible collection, but I never did. Uh, so this has, like they suggest, a very interesting wand. It's kind of like the, I think like the Pillow Talk um, mascara in that it's basically like flat, like there's no bristles on this side and then it has like the little rubber bristles on this side. Uh, which is interesting. I mean, I don't know if I love that I have to kind of pay attention to which which direction my mascara wand is, is facing when I'm applying it. So um, that's one thing. Uh, as far as the actual formula, like I think it did a decent job. Uh, I think my lashes have fallen a little bit. Uh, I always curl them and I typically will use a waterproof mascara because it does hold the curl. Uh, but I think it did give me some length and uh, it was kind of like a sticky formula and this was a brand new tube. So it, it's one of those where you kind of feel it tugging on your lashes a little bit as you're running it through. Uh, so it wasn't anything awful, but if that would irritate you, then you probably wouldn't enjoy that one. Uh, so next up we have the Tula um, Eye Balm. This is the Rose Glow and Get It Cooling and Brightening Eye Balm. Uh, this has a $30 value. Uh, it says this 4-in-1 eye balm instantly cools, brightens, hydrates, and minimizes the look of fine lines and wrinkles thanks to probiotics, caffeine, and plant-based oils. Uh, it says you can use it directly on the eye area under or over makeup, uh, which I'm not entirely sure about. Uh, so I did use it today immediately um, before applying my makeup, but uh, I do use an eye cream anyway, so I don't know that I really noticed like a huge difference in my under eyes. I think if you were interested in like a really portable option where you didn't have to like put your fingers in a pot or apply it with your fingers or whatever, you might enjoy this type of product. Uh, I just don't know that I really saw a huge difference with it. Uh, next up we have the Wander Beauty Eye Masks. So this is a set of six. Uh, this has a retail value of 25, I think. Uh, it says, pop on a set of these cute masks to help brighten up dark circles, reduce puffiness, plump fine lines, and soothe your skin. It's all thanks to a combo of soothing plant extracts, firming peptides, and hydrating amino acids. 100% cruelty free. Yeah, it says, apply to clean, dry under eyes with foil side facing up. Leave on for up to 15 minutes and discard after use. Uh, so I picked this, and I think I've said before that I'm not a huge like eye mask type person, but uh, I think, you know, these are kind of a cult favorite product and I think they were on like an Allure best of list or whatever. So I will probably not get through all of these. Uh, so I'll probably throw one in the giveaway with the Viseart palette. So if you're interested in trying that out, make sure to again, stay tuned. Uh, next up we have the Oritza Beauty Malibu Sunrise Ombre Blusher. Um, I picked this and this was supposed to have a $28 value. Uh, it says lightweight, silky smooth and made with all natural mineral pigments. This powder blush is a dream for anyone that loves high performing makeup and clean green formulas. Uh, so it says the packaging is sustainably made with reclaimed ocean plastic. 99% uh, of their raw plastic materials are from recycled sources. And once you're done, it can be recycled again. 
Uh, it says they create high quality rice based products that are rich in moisturizing and protective ingredients like jojoba oil, sunflower oil, shea butter, and more. Okay, so now that they said that it's made from recycled plastic, I feel bad. So I was about to say that it's kind of like cheap plastic packaging. It looks like it's designed in Great Britain and made in China. It has the little five as far as the recycling symbol is. Uh, so there's no mirror, which I think is again like a recyclability type thing. I mean, it feels smooth. Try and kind of get like the three kind of different color. I mean, it's pretty. Like I said, I used the other blush today. I guess I'll give them a little bit of a pass because they're trying to be like recyclable and sustainable. Uh, but when I first got this, I did kind of feel like it was the type of product you would get in like the normal glam bag uh, because they tend to be kind of lower end. Uh, but anyway, I guess I was mistaken. So I will have to give that a shot. Uh, and then the last product I selected was the Hannah Lay Lip Treatment in Sand. And I applied this today before I like did all the other lip products. Uh, it's interesting. It reminds me a little bit of the, what was that Say highlighter? It's just very stiff. Like it's not like a very kind of creamy product. You really have to kind of push hard on it. And then it came up as kind of like a, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, like just a really thin string of product. Um, and right now it's quite warm in my apartment because I turned off the air conditioning, but uh, it doesn't say anything about like having to try and keep this at like an optimal temperature or anything like that. So I don't know. I just, so in theory it sounded nice, but you know, I just don't want to have to put that much effort into getting like a lip balm out. Uh, that has a $20 value and it says chapped lips don't stand a chance. This protective treatment contains a mega moisturizing blend of nourishing ingredients, agave, aloe, and grapeseed, and kukui nut oils, in a warm, toasty nude shade, making it a mainstay in your makeup bag. Uh, so they recommend using it after exfoliating. Swipe on one to two coats for a subtle sheen. Cruelty-free and all natural. And it has uh, a unique blend of native Hawaiian botanicals like papaya, kukui oil, and cane sugar. It aims to heal and protect with products as lush as the rainforest that inspired them. This is made in the US. It looks like the first ingredient is lanolin. So if you are um, vegan, you may not want to try this one. Uh, it does, I think, have a fairly strong vanilla um, scent to it. It has vanillin. I just don't think the like packaging system is ideal for that consistency. It, I think it would be better if it were in a pot or something. Uh, but anyway, uh, so last two little add-ons. I got another way scrub because when you have multiple subscriptions, you can add things to both. Uh, and then I also tried out this Koki Full Cover Foundation in the shade 10C. Uh, and I think like shade wise, it was actually pretty good. I, I think it was definitely cool without being like too pink. Um, so that was nice to see. I don't think I love that foundation though. I think it's just, it looked a little bit too obvious and it said full cover, but I don't think it really gave me full coverage. Like I could still see a lot of my freckles. I had this little blemish down here. So I don't know. I. I wanted to like it, but in the end, I just don't think it really delivered on what I wanted it to. Uh, I think Koki does make another foundation, which I've heard good things about. So uh, if it has maybe the same shade in that foundation, I might give that a try, but uh, unfortunately I just don't really love this one. Okay, so that is it for Ipsy. So as you saw earlier, uh, I did get this um, Neutral Mattes Slim Pro palette from Viseart. Um, this was in March, so this has been kind of sitting in my um, cabinet for a while. Uh, this was, I think, marked down to like $48. Um, normally these are like $80 palettes, uh, and that's partly because you get a ton of product. This has 24 grams of product. 
Um, but these are also kind of, like I said, more marketed towards makeup artists. Um, I did have this palette before. Their older style of packaging, the pans were just kind of set in there, uh, but they have updated it. So you can see those little wells on the sides. Uh, so you can actually take out individual pans. Okay, so I wouldn't say these are the easiest to um, take out of the palette. Okay, there we go. I don't know if the magnet's just stronger. And they don't have anything on the reverse. That's what the pan looks like without the shadow. Uh, but if you wanted to, you could um, remove these and kind of rearrange, make your own little custom palette. Uh, Viseart did come out with these. These are the Grand Pro Empty Palettes. So I filmed a um, Viseart kind of collection and haul video prior to um, purchasing the palettes I'm showing you now. Uh, so I put together um, this palette, although I think I've rearranged it once since then. Um, so this is just like a huge empty magnetic pan and you can rearrange um, or depot whatever you like. So like I said, I had the original uh, neutral mattes palette, but I did want to have the flexibility to kind of take out the shades and everything like that. Uh, so I purchased this uh, and we'll kind of circle back to that in a second. Uh, I also got the Petite Pro Solstice, which is right here. So it seems like they keep switching up the way that they package these. So this comes in just like, you know, your standard unicarton like so. And uh, I've already kind of taken the shades out of this and um, put it in um, this palette. So those are the eight shades right there that come in the Solstice. Um, and on this plastic overleaf, you can tear it off if you want. Um, but I just like write the name of the palette kind of in wet race marker so that I can kind of keep track of them. Uh, and I just kind of arrange them the same way they are in the pan, um, but this way I can kind of see all of them at a glance. Uh, but yeah, this comes in like a little unicarton. Uh, the Petit Pro 2, I'm going to call it because I don't really speak French, uh, it came in this like sleeve almost. Uh, and what I typically do with um, these, because they don't have the shades on this package itself, uh, I will take, for example, this is the Petite um, Pro Africa Teen. This was the fourth one. Uh, I do like that they started to color the outside um, differently so that you can kind of tell them apart. Uh, but I will just cut out that um, part of the box and just place it over the mirror like so. So I have a reference um, when it comes to the shade names. Um, and some of the shade names are really cute too. So I just like, I don't know, I just like knowing them. Uh, so anyway, so I will do the same for um, the Petite Pro 2. I will cut this out uh, and then also the uh, Solstice. Uh, I did want to show you, um, they used to just have this color of packaging um, for the Petit Pros. You can see I cut that out. So just be aware of that because this may look different, but you may already have it in this color of packaging. Um, so just be aware of that. So some of those Petit Pros I deposited into this little um, square Z palette. Uh, I have the like Viseart Theory palettes in here. I have most of them. Uh, and then uh, I wanted to get another Viseart um, Grand Pro Empty palette. So I think this was um, $12 when I purchased it last. Uh, the Petite Pro Solstice was $18. Um, so that's what this looks like, just kind of all empty. Uh, and then the last palette I got was the Viseart Violet Etendu. So this is their um, Etendu size. So going back to what I said, uh, they used to have palettes that were all pretty much this size. I think they came out with the Theory palettes next, which are, I think those are the same pan size as these ones, but these have a mix of matte and shimmer. 
And then they came out with these little petite pros, which have super mini pans. Uh, and now they've kind of started going towards um, these etendu, um, and they've re-released their huge Grand Pro palette, I think, to have this size of pans as well. Um, and this has a really pretty design on the packaging as well. So you can kind of see the evolution from like this to this, you know, in terms of who your target audience is. Uh, but this, it's just a very purple palette. And uh, this was, I think, on sale for $26. So I went ahead and picked that up. Uh, I think I saw like Teresa's Dead really speak highly of this. So yeah, so I'll do the same thing and cut out those shades. They have one called Elderberry, which is fun. Jezebel, Grenache. So yeah, so I just, I like having that. Uh, okay, so the moment you were all patiently waiting for, or not so patiently perhaps. Um, so my little story here, um, that I ordered the neutral mats because I wanted the removable pans, like I said. And when they first shipped it to me, they shipped the original packaging. Uh, so I actually have two unused neutral matte palettes. Um, the packaging on them is a little different because like I said, I had like a very old neutral mattes palette in the original packaging and I decided to replace that. And because I think Viseart was in a BoxyCharm um, last year, they had these in the, like an add-on or a pop-up sale. Um, so one of these I got from BoxyCharm. Uh, so I have one neutral mats with that kind of labeling on it. Uh, but when I ordered this neutral mats, they actually sent this one, uh, which is again, the older style of packaging, but it's a brand new palette and I haven't touched it. So uh, to share the love, uh, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. Uh, there will be two winners. Uh, so I'll throw in a Wander Beauty eye mask with each of these palettes. Whoever gets the BoxyCharm one and whoever gets the Viseart one, I don't think there's really a difference between the two, just the packaging, but I'm just going to kind of randomly send them out. So if that bothers you, just don't enter the giveaway. But yeah, I will send a palette and an eye mask to two lucky winners. Uh, so you will be well prepped and have a nice kind of basic neutral palette to play with this fall. And I think I will try to do this through Rafflecopter. So uh, I will have all the details down below in terms of how you enter and that sort of thing. Uh, generally, you have to be subscribed to my channel. Uh, you have to be um, 18 or have your parents permission um, and it will be um, US only. So. I'm sorry to my international viewers, but just for shipping expenses alone, uh, I'm going to limit it to uh, US residents only. So I hope that was worth waiting to the end or skipping ahead, whichever one you did. And yeah, I think that's all I have to share with you right now. I hope you guys found this video helpful or interesting. Uh, I definitely need to go turn my air conditioning back on because I'm melting here. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys are all staying very safe and healthy out there. I hope. Uh, if you have any kids in school that they're doing okay with the start of a new school year, uh, I know that must be really tough. Um, but yeah, hope you guys are all staying very safe and healthy, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.